two, three. We should be good. All right. All right. Perfect. That's like the quickest sync up we've ever done. Sick. Uh, welcome to the Internet Friendos podcast, where we're friends on the internet. Hey. <laughs> wow. Today, I guess is... An insect. <laughs> An insect. <laughs> it means... It's get him out of here. Of here. <laughs> I'm glad to be here with Reese's and Pieces, my two get favorite friendos. Get the lighter. Friendos. <laughs> <laughs> did you know different species of cicadas uh well cicadas all breed at the same time sort of uh yeah. and different species uh are on different cycles so we don't clash and kill each other oh shit i did not know well, about so, that, <laughs> so, that and they're all on uh prime numbers so like <laughs> we won't yeah no it's cool because the, the one they don't breed so ones that breed every like seven years okay and then the other ones won't be on like a 14 year cycle because that would mean every other year they'd clash and kill each other. Yeah, no, I, I can't wait for that. That's the actually incredible. Yeah. Yeah, evolution. Wow. So can't only, on, f- <laughs> only on Prime <laughs> the Numbers. Fibonacci sequence orgy. It'll be great. <laughs> do, you, do you know that 2017 is a Prime number? Uh, I do now. Yeah. Yeah, wow. Interesting. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Cool. Wait, that, <laughs> that's this year. It. Yeah, that that is this year. Holy shit! <laughs> 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 Gotta do cicada things. I got you. I, I'm gonna be honest. Like, I had no idea what a cicada was <laughs> until I saw your <laughs> channel name. And, it's all good. Uh, I thought it was pronounced cicada for the longest time. Yeah, so I'm unsure about how it's pronounced. <laughs> it, it, it goes either way, to be honest. It's like a potato, potato kind of thing. Okay, yeah. here's the thing. When people okay. say like. Potato, potato, whatever. It's like, nobody actually says potato. <laughs> I, I, yeah, they say tomato. <laughs> did the see? Look, he, he there. There's your proof. He said tomato. I mean, I've. I it's know. true. I haven't. I haven't heard potato either. Like, who actually says? Nobody potato? says potato. Nobody. Like, ah, uh, potato, potato. You could say either or. Except no, because no one actually says potato. So what? Are one you is highly to say <laughs> highly <potato>. frowned upon. <laughs> I think we should start a trend. We'll be the potato You'll like boys. Potato. Whoa! Instead of gang. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, yeah. oh, are you are you the the potato boys? No, 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 no. the potato boys. <laughs> Get potato right. boys are on the other side of town. Yes. <laughs> we hate them. <laughs> yes. Their unoriginal name. <laughs> we keep tagging over our tags. <laughs> Stealing our bikes. <laughs> yeah, it's a shame that it's spelt the same way, but it's a completely different name, I assure you. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you can tell by the way we put emphasis on certain <laughs> letters when we're spraying them. <laughs> you can tell we were pushing harder on the, on the can. <laughs> we, we'd be the best of spuddies. Oh, uh, boy. Uh, I don't know how long you were thinking of that one. <laughs> And that's it. I'm off the podcast. It's nice knowing you guys. <laughs> um, See you next episode, guys. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit subscribe. Um, Do Shady, why don't why don't you tell us a bit about yourself? Like like what I do, or just me? I mean, whatever you want the audience to know about you. Okay. Uh, hi everyone. I'm Shady Cicada. <laughs> I've got an uh, average length dick. <laughs> 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 I, uh, you know, I, I do, I make music covers of video games, or no, I do, that, that's right, right, no, I do covers of video game songs, and I make originals and tutorials, that's what I do. Nice. Right? Yeah, that's, that's fair, right, that's a good business proposal. Yeah. 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 I'd invest in that. I wouldn't, I don't have money, but. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Are you actually composing a game soundtrack right now? I am. I am working on a. Uh, it's a JRPG game. It's kind of a mix of like the Mario and Luigi series and Undertale, and uh, it's going along pretty well. I'm pretty excited to have something to show people eventually. But uh, wow, yeah. that's like real work. <laughs> it, it, it is. It is real <laughs> Whoops! Whoa! What just happened? So, like, mic drop just happened. My whole entire stand just fell to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> wait, so can, wait, can you guys hear me properly? Yeah. Yeah, we good. Yeah, okay, great. then we're good. We're good. I'm just holding it in my <laughs> hand now, but it's fine. 
I'm just worried about your well-being, dude. You <laughs> no, I'm I, I'm fine. I don't safe? know. My, my microphone just fell asleep and just fell to the floor. But hello, it me. Hello, hello it me on a podcast with friends. <laughs> wow, time to do the intro. Uh, <laughs> no, but sorry, what were you guys saying about the uh, the game? Or well, Reese was said saying it was cool that it's... right before it fell. I I I want to see it. I haven't heard about this. I'm gonna. Check it out after the podcast because it looks, it sounds really cool. Oh, yeah, I'll hit you up with some stuff. Uh, they have a Facebook yeah, page. I mean, if okay, I could just cool. say it here, it's called That's the Spirit. And uh, it seems, it, it looks pretty damn cool. That's the Spirit. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Did, uh, Christian. <laughs> yeah. Think of any topics. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I, was, I was about to ask, I'm like, wait, do we, do we have topics or is I that like. To I've been talking to Christian all day. Oh, I mean, shit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and he, we... just, he just messaged us earlier, being like, I'm ready to go soon. And we're like, oh, uh, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, we normally talk a fair bit on recording day. Um, I don't know. I feel like every episode, I've already, I've always stopped and been like, hey, Christian, what about topics? Yeah. <laughs> the, you, I feel like in every episode, you have that moment of like, where you run out of things to say, and you just, you just say Here's something. The thing. Like the I second episode, you were just like, "Hey, Mikey, or is what are you wearing? Is that is that plaid?" <laughs> I, I was actually, ge I was genuinely interested. To be fair, <laughs> right. it's what was it? Plaid? I always think it was okay. Good. <laughs> that is the best kind of shirt you could possibly wear for any musical occasion. That's true. It is a very musical clothing. It's, it's grunge piece. as fuck. Yeah, <laughs> and that's Mikey. There, well, Pretty there you grunt. go. <laughs> Mikey's down for anything. <laughs> um, but I always, I always think I'm gonna run out of stuff to say and then ask about topics. But the thing is, it's not that I'm running out of stuff to say. I just have this realization every episode where I'm like, "Wait, did we prepare anything?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like every episode we're getting less and less prepared. Um, that's fine yeah. though, because there's a lot of interesting things about Shady. I think. So, oh, uh, okay. you have cool. you you have a a decently famous series called How to Blank. <laughs> I I do have the How to Blank series. <laughs> I love How to Blank. Yeah, it, you it know really... that one series that starts with How to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, in in five minutes or less or whatever. That, that's my clickbait part. If I didn't add yeah. the five minutes or less. I, I was People afraid of it not. Yeah, I was afraid of it not getting <laughs> enough views. So I was like, "All right, I'm just gonna keep throwing these in." And yeah. like, the best part is, it was always supposed to be five minutes. But as the songs got longer, I just said, "Fuck it," and I just changed the number to whatever I wanted. So it's like, "Oh, now it's <laughs> nine minutes or less." It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> it just yeah. works. Yeah, nobody cares what the number is as well, long as it's a number. Yeah, as long as I don't it's think, or less at the end. <laughs> yeah, good. yeah. I don't think people really are picky about that either, because I don't think people sit at home and be like, "Oh man." I have nine minutes to write a to write a progressive metal song. <laughs> better, <laughs> what do I, I'm, I do? I'm just better I'm watch just this nine people, minutes or less video. I'm imagining people seeing that, that video and being like, used to five minutes. So when we see nine minutes, we're like, oh, nine minutes. I don't know if I have that much time. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> oh man, it's the best though because some people don't like. They they assume that like. And and the thing is, I made it to be like that, where they think that you could write a song in five minutes or less, but <laughs> like, so to be like, that's impossible. You can't like physically do that. And then like the loophole is that the video is that long, right? So it's like, <laughs> yeah. But I get I a mean, lot of those. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't ever, even if I was watching a tutorial, I wouldn't be like, yeah, after this, I'm going to be able to do that thing I couldn't even do to start with. Yeah. yeah five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I... I I feel like you'd have to be really dumb to like be somebody who has absolutely no musical background and click on that video and think, oh yeah, I'll be able to write a song by the time I'm done watching this video. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if they are, then that's fucking awesome. They're like, yeah, that's prodigy. incredible. Yeah. Then Honestly, I you're a prodigy <laughs> and you didn't need that video. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Oh man. But no, it's it's a lot of fun. I mean, you you do get some mm -hmm. of the weird comments. I got I got a funny one the other day where uh, for my power metal one. Um, some dude just said, this is really awesome, but it's not power enough. And I'm like, what do you mean? And he's like, I don't know. It's just not power enough in the metal. I'm like, okay. Plug yeah, it in, dude. 
<laughs> I feel like if I made videos similar to you, I would be terrified of classifying an original song as a certain genre to put in the title. I'm I'm it's, always it's scared of that. I'm I'm terrified of putting a genre in my title or yeah. even description. You you uploaded a I think what was supposed to be a how to deathcore and then people complained so you you re-uploaded the video with like new editing and everything to make it metalcore part 2, right? Yeah, that, yeah, that's exactly what happened. The first couple comments were like, "Sorry, this is not deathcore." And like the worst part is when I finally changed it, a lot of people said, "Oh, so this is basically just deathcore." And I'm like, <laughs> Come on, <laughs> metal, metal elitists. Metal elitists are the hardest people to deal with. But yeah, you'll come to find that like once you get your stuff going, they're kind of the minority. So you just yeah. kind of let them be, and if they're not impressed, then like I mean, who who cares, right? You have all these yeah. other people yeah. that are understanding, and like it's really hard to kind of figure out the genre for anything in metal because you could make one up and it'll eventually just be a thing. I mean, right. Look at Jen, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, that's actually <laughs> yeah. Have you, yeah, have, I mean, you I, do, have you considering do have you considering yeah all right have, <laughs> have you considering. have you considered uh doing like a like a grind core <laughs> like yeah. how to grind core because I feel oh, like yeah. <laughs> I feel like the only thing you'd have to do is just like really fast snares and play whatever <laughs> you want because you won't be able to hear it if your gain is at like 10 yeah uh, <laughs> and then then you got grind core. Yeah, I mean, I could probably even do the vocals for that if I really wanted to. <laughs> That's... I just gotta <laughs> choke on a, like a handful of Fruit Loops and I'm good to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you do you actually have any specific plans for uh, other genres you're gonna um, do? Well, I I want to try deathcore again. That that's right. one. <laughs> um, <laughs> I I was thinking about doing ones that like weren't actual genres, sort of like something like how to make a kazoo metal song, and it would just be like. A song that would like be music. funny. Sorry, yeah. that would be funny. Yeah, I think that. Yeah, so like, yeah, stuff like that. Because I mean, eventually, I'm probably gonna run out of interesting genres. Because I'm not gonna go to like blackened crust, which is a real genre, by the way. <laughs> and like, you know, shit like okay. that. But like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, there's still a couple that I can work with, like thrash metal, and you know, um, uh, thrashier metal. I don't know, <laughs> but like. <laughs> I mean, there, I can always make part twos or part threes to other genres as well. So, I mean, it, it's, it's, I, I have a lot of plans for the future that yeah. I haven't fully decided yet. But yeah. Yeah. Stuff fun like series. That. It is. It's a really fun series. Like, I, I think, I mean, the most fun part of it, and I, you know, you guys understand this because I know you guys do covers and all that, but at the same time, you really want your originals to get out there more, right? Yeah. yeah. So, we've, you know, once that, sorry? Oh, we, we've like both <laughs> made that. We we I feel like we've said that on the podcast a lot that we like really like doing originals like way more than covers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's it's just a lot more satisfying it's to know lot. it's like I did all of this myself. Yeah, and it's a lot more freeing to because when you're doing a cover, it's sort of like oh, I gotta make sure people actually hear the original melody in this. Yeah, I and mean, not like this doesn't sound like the original at all. Yeah, yeah, I've had exactly. That problem. Oh, with people arguing that it's not. Not it's, with it's people not arguing. Or... No, but like just me feeling like it's not faithful, like changing the song uh, too much. Yeah, and then changing it so it. much where you're like, I could just make an original and yeah, it we, would be mine instead of... Yeah. yeah. I, I yeah. think we talked about this on the last episode that hasn't gone up yet, but like I've mm -hmm. been to the point where I've I've done things in previous covers that had nothing to do with the cover songs, so I can actually just reuse them in original songs now. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. So that's fun to do. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I've done that a few times as well, actually. <laughs> I like um with originals you can experiment a little more as well. Because uh I've been I've been using a lot of I don't know what to call them, I guess arrangement techniques, uh okay. but I never really thought I'd I never really used in covers because it's hard to sort of fit into something that's already written. Okay. If you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Um, just sort of like some weird, like rhythm stuff where I'm not maybe not playing a chord or I'm not playing something in a certain way that a. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. There's a, there's a lot of stuff about playing guitar that's mm -hmm. really simple to other people, but I just didn't realize until later on. Yeah. But it's not necessarily about playing technique. Just sort of 
knowing how stuff is written. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like uh, I, I didn't realize until uh, quite late on, but it's okay to just play a single string sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so if you play a single rhythm- like chord sometimes, it's it's totally fine. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I always try to overcomplicate things like, oh, I can't just play power chords, or, oh, I can't just play one string for rhythm, but yeah, you totally can, it oh, sounds yeah. great. <laughs> so we're getting them catchy melodies, son. Yeah. Yeah. I That reminds me, I don't know if you guys noticed when uh, Metal Fortress, like, I think he went like almost a full year or something, and he had this rule for himself where he would only play one note on rhythm guitar. I don't know. Are you serious? I, I, I don't know why he did it. I, <laughs> Kareem is like always trying to do really weird stuff all the time. So, for like, there was a, a very long uh, phase on his channel where his rhythm guitars were just one note. That's amazing. Wow. I, I, one I note at a time, like that. no chords. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Super weird. That's very <laughs> ambitious of him. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Did he, uh, do you have, did he have any uh, like crazy tones? To compensate? I mean, I don't know. I don't really remember. It was a while back. <laughs> Bass boost. And yeah. Andrew, I'll, yes. I'll find an example I'll, of it okay and I'll link pedal. it in the description. <laughs> <laughs> Pitch shifter, you know. <laughs> yeah, he's playing one string, but he, he copies and pastes it and pitch shifts it. So yeah. Much just <laughs> That's this fucking liar. Yeah. <laughs> hey, is so swearing allowed on this, on this uh, Christian podcast? I mean, <laughs> I, I, I didn't. I didn't mean it by your name, by the way. <laughs> but like, yeah, sure. It, it, this is point five a Christian podcast, so. I mean, I said yeah. dick earlier. Yeah, so. I mean, you are. Right. Yeah. Well, I said fuck, which is like two, like three dicks. So. <laughs> that's which fine. is. In this podcast right now, <laughs> I think it's, it's done. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, child friendly. I have changed the rating. Good. Yeah. Haha, this one's not PJ. PJ friendly. PJ friendly. <laughs> I, mean, I like to say I like the we're all wearing pajamas right yeah. now, right? Yep. All right. I'm not. Yep. Then it, you're not. Oh no. All right. I'm you're wearing, not. You're, you're not PJ jeans. friendly. You gotta leave, dude. Sorry. <laughs> it's, it's not gonna work out. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Christian, you've ruined the podcast with your stupid ass jeans. I mean, yeah, I no wonder my microphone fell. <laughs> <laughs> it, it makes no sense, but it fell because it, it knew. Yeah. <laughs> It it knew. It's a diva, <laughs> you know. Damn Gene guy. I, I honestly wish I could show you how I'm holding this right now. Maybe like, because like the whole arm just fell off the bed, so I'm holding the arm and the microphone in both of my hands. You're holding it. Are you I'm serious? Hold- yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm literally. Yeah, I, I look like I, I look like I'm holding like a bunch of books before they fall out. <laughs> have of my you hands. have you been holding it like that like ever since your mic fell? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just got. I'm just working my stamina skills at this point, dude. Are you? I mean, you've got some time to go. Are you that, you gonna be all right? Yeah, yeah. I've had to hold still for a few things that, before. It's cool. That does remind me, like, <laughs> of you lifting that mic stand. You yeah. You you work out, right? I <laughs> like, I do. I do. Averagely, yeah. averagely. I do work out so averagely every other day or every nice. day sometimes. I'm I'm I've been actually wanting to ask you about this for a while. I've actually just all been right. saving it for the podcast. Okay. But like, whoa! What, what does yeah. uh? What what do you normally do? What like, do I just, normally do? What do you yeah. even do? <laughs> what do you what do you what do you do when you work out? Uh, you know, I, uh, I I lift th- all the women that right. that, that come to my door. Right. No, I'm kidding. I all right. <laughs> I have like <laughs> I have like this Excuse workout. Me, <laughs> I have this workout bench, and it has like uh like this tether based system. So instead of weights, you kind of lift uh these tethers attached to these handles. And uh, you can move the chair into different positions to work out basically every muscle on your body. So I use that Ooh. for, you know, a few other, wor- some workouts. And then I do like squats, push-ups. I lift uh, weights and pull-ups, all of that stuff. I don't do anything fancier than that at the moment, but that's pretty much nice. it. I run on the treadmill, listen to your guys' covers while I do it, you know. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I used helps. to, I used to, I was, well... I always have these phases where I get really into working out for a while, and it's not like super into working out. I'm just sort of like doing push-ups and pull-ups everywhere, <laughs> and like, <laughs> but like I I have this, I really have this need to just be able to reli- reliably lift my own body weight. Like yeah. I I I used to be able to do it all the time, but now I don't because I'm 
incredibly lazy and I don't do anything. But uh, <laughs> I used That'll to do just it. love. I I love the freedom of just being like, oh, that's a point. I can just climb up to that because I can lift my own body weight. Yeah. But no, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> so if I see something, it takes effort to climb. <laughs> this is the saddest anime plot I've ever experienced. <laughs> I'm going to do a training montage. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Get back to it. I'll fucking I'll I'll write the song. Okay. How to make a yeah. training montage song. <laughs> you should. Yeah. Oh, you should do That's like a. That's actually a good idea. Like a how to make a vlog song. Like a ukulele background. Song. Oh my oh, god! Like that, that generic, like pretentious yeah. shit. You. Oh my yeah. god! Yes. Christian made some of that once. <laughs> really? Yeah, and it fun was... story. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> this, is, this is still one of my favorite things I've ever done. I. It's. It's unlisted on my channel. I had to re-upload it later, but it's still unlisted on my channel. Um, okay. link it I'll, in link, the I'll link it in the description. But I made yeah. this song once. I don't remember why. Um, it was just like a very basic acoustic chord progression. And you were just I was you were just sort of jamming it out yeah. uh, on and, the call, and I told you to record it. Yeah, the yeah, I think that's what happened. And the, like yeah. the last the last two chords felt kind of like a build up back to a nice back to the the major C chord, which was the 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 uh, the, I, the I don't know the the one chord. The it was home, in the key of C. The meat. Yeah. It was okay. the meat. Yeah. yeah, so right. <laughs> it was just like, it was going to resolve, and so on the last chord before that C major, <laughs> I just like played it really, like I like I just strummed <laughs> as hard as I could, oh and my God. <laughs> I was like stomping. <laughs> that's, that's kind of amazing. It was, it was like, do ba 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 do I think I like maxed out like the volume fader for that one section as well <laughs> yeah. and then that is actually and then, perfect and then when it resolves to the c chord it's just back <laughs> to normal all quiet <laughs> <laughs> and i i sent it over and you guys weren't expecting it and uh <laughs> it really made this jump <laughs> <laughs> my god dude i think we lost a group member that day <laughs> 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 oh man christian what are you doing man <laughs> i don't know there's a lot That's of pretty weird good, music things that I've made. You make Fine. a lot of weird stuff, Christian. I do. You gotta be adventurous, man. Yeah. <laughs> I- <laughs> so, hey, so in those ukulele songs, right, is the lead instrument a xylophone, or is it like, what is it? Bells? I think it's a, it's a glock. Ding, ding, ding. It's, it's, what is it? A glockenspiel, or a... Ah, I think that's it. Some, might be some hand bells, if that's what they're called. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking the glockenspiel, though. Yeah. It sounds more like that, yeah. <laughs> do 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 do. Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah, that that's going good. on the list. Thanks, right. Christian. <laughs> you just have to invest in a ukulele and a and a glockenspiel. <laughs> Done. <laughs> I love I love uh, I love glockenspiels. There's a lot of it in Paramore's new stuff. <laughs> <laughs> <There's that laughs> <story. laughs> Let's not get back onto Paramore, but no. yeah. Oh man. <laughs> Why? Would you guys like to go through every single uh, Paramore song on your new album and talk about it? We did that. Yeah, sure. Hello, Let's I am Hell Six Bell. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the podcast, Bryn. I, I was actually I was actually listening to it today, that oh, podcast nice. episode. Yeah. I was doing some research, you know? Right. Oh wow. <laughs> R- wait, Can research what to expect? Research on internet friendos or research on Paramore? <laughs> on, on on internet friendos. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get in y'all heads, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You gotta know what kind of bright blue background your voice is gonna be heard over. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know what's going on with the, uh, with the visuals for the podcast. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> See, it's really nice to look at, but I don't know if it's good. <laughs> <laughs> I just like the colors. The colors are nice. Yeah. <laughs> they're pleasing on the eyes they, they, they didn't bother me so yeah I mean, and you don't really have to look yeah at it, i was gonna so. say yeah, you if, anyone's, if anyone's watching our podcast <laughs> then uh, i'm not sure what you're doing <laughs> <laughs> yeah maybe don't they just want to see your awesome profile pictures guys come on yeah yeah 
But they uh, draw them. <laughs> they sit there and just draw our profile pictures while listening to the podcast. Actually, speaking of profile pictures, I got this really weird email right before this podcast started. And um, it, w- it was just an email from some dude. Let, let me, it's, it's right here. He sent me an email and all it said was profile picture. So I open it up and it's like, <laughs> it's like this, it's a drawing of a turtle, but it's like a three-year-old did it. Like a really badly drawn turtle. <laughs> and then he said, imagine a taco sitting on a turtle shell. And that was it. <laughs> there was like no just context. Just imagine it. Yeah, just, just imagine. I'm just like, just oh, imagine. I was like, okay, yeah, I totally will imagine. Thank you. Like, uh, what the I fuck? Think- Okay. <laughs> it was good. It was good. Yeah. What do you guys think of tacos? <laughs> I uh, I love tacos, I, man. I, I like make them. them like every month. I've um, never had a, a taco. I'm, I'm You've never be... had a taco. <clears throat> never had I live in England. We don't get tacos very often. <laughs> oh fuck off. <laughs> I'm <laughs> I'm gonna be <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I, I don't really like hard shell tacos that much because I'd rather oh. eat something that uh I can eat before it crumbles everywhere. Listen. Christian, you just eat it. You just eat it over another taco. All right. That's okay. That's the problem. Right. Is that if you if you want to eat, <laughs> I, I taco, know there's eventually. <laughs> you can't. It's like put a Ponzi. It down. It's like a Ponzi scheme. At, at the very yeah. end, there will be something getting fucked. But like, why not? Then you just get like a spoon or like a fork. Ooh. You scoop it up, and you got yourself a, like a, to- a tortilla bowl. Got yourself about a burritos. Fancy <laughs> Doritos, dude. Might as well just eat nachos at that point. With nah, like but like na- nachos are just like. They're just vanilla tacos, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's not enough going on. I disagree. I don't know what the I've fuck. Had, <laughs> I've, I've had I've had some good nachos. You, you're not okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. I, mean, I can't. I honestly like. I can't combat that. Like, you probably have had good nachos. Yeah. I, I've had like. I've had like Tostitos the, scoops. So like, I don't know. You ever have <laughs> Tostitos gold? No, no. What is Tostitos gold? It's. It's just amazing. I've never had any tostillos. It, it, but Bryn had some tostillos gold sometime. And, like, he looked them up. And they are super rare. And everybody oh. wants them back. It sounds like a premium subscription to Tostitos. <laughs> <laughs> Sign up for Tostitos gold today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah. That's, that's interesting. I wonder if it has, like, actual gold shavings on them. Like, it's, it's the rich it's- man's tortilla. <laughs> I think they're made of corn. All the originals are made of corn, and these are made of something else. I don't know. It's <laughs> <laughs> fucking amazing. I, I don't, I've never even seen Tostitos in real life. I don't. I don't. <laughs> what What do you have in England other than like biscuits? We have We have Doritos. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Doritos are like my favorite thing. <laughs> they are like the top tier chip. What do you call the blue Doritos? Cool Ranch. Cool Ranch? You call yeah. them Cool American, right? No, Cool Original. Cool okay. Cool Original. Okay. That's yeah, so weird. Yeah, what does that do? Like, are there other like are there other versions of Cool? Because <laughs> no. that, if that's the original Cool, then you have to have like. <laughs> I think it's I think it's the original, and then it's describing the original as cool. It just has like sunglasses on each chip. They're just it's really the cool, cool version of original. <laughs> to be, to is, be, to be a fan, it, to to be a fan. To be honest, to I'm, be a fan. To be honest, I am not a fan of Cool Ranch Doritos. I don't not, not know either. why they use cool as an adjective because. As much as it's not spicy or hot, it's definitely not a cool flavor, you know? Oh, you mean I, cool as in, like, the the like the like taste or, like, the temperature, I guess? So, yeah, yeah, how else? Yeah. Like, the opposite, of sp- cool? the, the opposite of spicy? Yeah. It's like yeah, when you rub I one of those lotions you on your skin, it feels nice and cool. Ooh, but, like, you, ta- I wanna... you, but like, you taste it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Yeah, dude. Oh, when you when you rub like isopropyl alcohol. That, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Skin. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But in, like in I chip do form. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Isopropanol <laughs> chips, dude. I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait for my Nyquil Mountain Dew to top it all off. <laughs> that sounds. That's a uh, like caffeine and Nyquil just sort of. <laughs> yeah, I mean that. that yeah. I mean it'll probably kill you, but like to be fair, like Nyquil, like it tastes kind of good. Have you mm-hmm. ever had NyQuil? Yeah, right? Like, it's like, shit, yeah. I wish this was a real drink. So, like, yeah. I don't know, man. Do you, have you, okay, do you know what Vicks VapoRub is? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay, do yeah. you know that NyQuil has, like, Vicks VapoRub in it? 
<laughs> oh really? <ew. laughs> yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> it's actually like on the label now. It's like yeah, now with like Vicks Vapor Rub. That's like the grossest <laughs> in the sweet the though. Thing that you digest. Yeah. I, I've I've eaten that and it's not good. Digest, ingest <laughs> is what I meant to uh, say. Yeah. Maybe just Rita's in small digest. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess you also digest it, but <laughs> <laughs> if you ingest it, unfortunately, you're also gonna have to digest <laughs> <Yeah>. it. <laughs> Oh, uh, you can try, unless it's sweet corn, yeah. in which case, you in, don't. In, in that case, you might as well <laughs> just have uh, Tostitos Gold. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> um, Shady, you hey. you have a band, right? I, I have a band. I do. Nice. We do band Rubber? Things. What's that? Rubber band? <laughs> I, I mean, I have a few rubber things, yes. But, um... Hair bands? <laughs> 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 I... <laughs> Yeah, I have a band. <laughs> I um yeah, we we make like like we uh I I used to be in a lot of metal bands. I used to, I I was in like my first band ever was like a progressive metal band um that I wrote the wow. music for. Yeah, that's kind of where I got my footing and then um then I got to like other metal bands and then I realized that like the Toronto scene, like over here the underground scene doesn't really treat metal nice as in like there's no one ever at shows. And I was like, "All right, well I also like rock and punk and all that. So maybe uh, I'll take this in more of like a mainstream route. So it's mm-hmm. more of like a rock mixed with like punk, but like Billy Talent punk. So there's a lot of jazzy chords and stuff. Ooh, cool. So yeah. 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 It's good stuff. You're, I just, you, you, you told me at one point, I think uh, you're, the song from your How to Write a Pop, a pop Punk Song Part 2 or something yep. is now, is now like a full song with lyrics and everything. It It is a full song with lyrics. That yeah. is, wow. that's really cool. I would love to. <laughs> I would love to hear that at at I'll, some point. I'll hook you up. I mean, it'll be on my channel. Like as soon as we have originals out, cool. if anyone here wants to look forward to that, that's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I'm yeah. looking forward to it. All right, Good I'm shit. also there looking backward, sideways. Eyes <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, behind, behind my head. <laughs> it, it's recommended to listen to sideways. Did, yeah. did you ever have teachers <laughs> that that said that that said yeah, like, oh, I, I I'd uh, I'd be like, hey, it doesn't matter. You've got hair there. <laughs> no, <laughs> you can't. <laughs> yeah, you can't I, see through all that hair. I remember one time. Um, <laughs> this is relevant. I swear. In like grade two, um, it was it so was like right two at- years ago. Sorry, go on. <laughs> 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 so uh, we we weren't allowed to eat in class, right? And so yep. mm-hmm. right after lunch, it, it was right after lunch ended, and we were doing silent reading. And I was really hungry, so I wanted to eat like some food. And you were hungry right after lunch. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, Boys gotta okay. eat, dude. Our our school was really weird because like the way it would work is we would we would stay inside to eat lunch for the first fifteen minutes, and mm-hmm. then you would and then you would go outside for like the other half hour or whatever. But you had to eat your lunch in those first five minutes of being inside. Or 15 minutes, well, sorry. Fuck. Okay. So yeah, right. you, you had to finish your lunch. If not, then you couldn't eat it because you weren't allowed to take it outside. I'm oh, glad, wow. I'm glad you yeah. guys had anxiety classes. It was very odd. <laughs> um, anyway, so I was in silent reading and I was sitting like pretty much directly behind the teacher. <laughs> and I I wanted to eat. I wanted to, you know, sneak out like a fruit roll up or whatever. And Oh, nice. <laughs> I... Just <laughs> then, hard stuff, I was, dude. I was contemplating whether the whole eyes behind your head thing was real, because I was a great <laughs> oh, no. show and I didn't know. I was like, I, I don't know. Are they, are they being serious or something? And so I actually, like, at that moment, I went up to my teacher and asked, "Is it true that you have eyes behind your head?" And she was like, "Oh my god." She was like, "Yeah, it's true." And so I didn't eat food. <laughs> yeah. I was too scared <laughs> that she would see me. <laughs> That's pretty good. I just imagine you be her answering you being like, "Okay, fair enough." <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, worth a shot. <laughs> Sitting back down, Christian. doing your work, <laughs> getting stuck into that book. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, do Do you guys have any fun elementary school stories of the like? elementary Ooh. school stories i guess mm. yeah i guess that was a 
super long time ago for both of you. <laughs> I I have <laughs> I have some uh, like high school ones. Yeah, that that's, that's yeah that, that that's, that's basically totally the fine, same right? thing. That's basically yeah, it's the basically same. the same. Okay. Grade two and high school kids. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, yeah. yeah, they kind of are the same. But I had this uh, <clears throat> I had this one dude in my school. I'm not gonna go by his actual name, so I'm just gonna call him uh, Dan. And um, <laughs> Dan, Dan Link, Dan, everybody. <laughs> Dan, <laughs> yeah, so like Dan Link went to my school, and he, you know, interesting fellow. Not actually Dan Link. Um, he just like at first he was kind of average. Like he'll come up to you and he'll be like, "Oh, yo, uh, Shady, did you know that like Pokemon was named after pocket monsters?" And he'll tell me about Pokemon for like two hours, and I'm like, "Okay, that's a little weird, but it's fine." <clears throat> but this one day, and I, I don't even know why this happened, but this dude in my class uh, just like poked uh, Dan randomly. And Dan starts like panicking and like coughing on him and like laughing. He was just really uncomfortable, and like the <laughs> coughing made the other kid sick. So he went home. And th this this is all this is all means something. Uh, the next day, when Dan shows up to school, he's wearing a <laughs> he's wearing a giant cardboard box. <laughs> like, <laughs> what? Yeah, he, like he he cut the holes through the bottom and holes through the sides for like his <laughs> arms and legs. And like at this point, everyone's scared because they're like, all right, he's either like this is either hilarious or he's going to like be very like a very concerning asset to the school like we, you know <laughs> this could be dangerous so no one talked to him so eventually i went up and i'm like ah fuck it dan what are you what are you doing and he's like <laughs> <laughs> he's like hey, I, I i made foolproof armor against like this other guy uh, we'll call him john the one who poked them and he's <laughs> like yeah it's like my poking armor so if he tries to poke me it's not gonna work this time and I'm like, <laughs> he didn't even show up to school. What are you doing? <laughs> and like, eventually, by the end of the day, teachers just like, just take that shit off, Dan. What the fuck are you doing? And like, it, it was really weird. <laughs> Those exact words. Down. Yeah, Those exact it, it was almost. Words. It was almost like that. With like, without the fuck, it was literally just like, what are you doing? Like, this looks like so stupid. Come on, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I, I don't know, man. He's had some. He's had some stories, man. But uh, that was probably my favorite one. But yeah, that, that's yeah. that's my. Uh, I mean, another there was another one. Uh, this one kid uh, was very very edgy. He liked to be dark and brooding, and um, for like this actually has nothing to do with him being dark and brooding. But one time he just ran down this slope into a door as hard as he could just to see how hard <laughs> he could do it, and he what? shattered like On he purpose. shattered. Yeah, and, and like there, there's windows in the middle of the door. He didn't hit the middle. He hit the side, and the windows still shattered. <laughs> 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 that was it. It was just a random day, and like no one gave a shit. We were just like quiet. We we're like, all right, cool, and that was it. <laughs> uh, like we had a very wow. special. It, it was, and the weirdest part was that our high school was all academic. This was supposed to be like all gifted people. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like why? But yeah, what about what about you guys? Yeah. Uh, see, all my stories. I'm the weird kid. <laughs> oh, that that, that's, that makes it even better in a sense. Yeah, that's way better, dude. <laughs> dude. Um, all right. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, all right, so my school had, uh, these, the, the way it was laid out, um, it was pretty much just, like, one big row. Like, my school was, like, a, shaped like a, a handgun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. So that's all right. That's all that already raises a few uh, alarm bells, but go on. Yeah. yeah. Man. <laughs> so it's like, uh, it was, my school was pretty much just two long corridors uh, with, uh, with uh, three stories. So it's like three floors. Sorry. You, got, you guys don't say stories. <laughs> the, the, the stories are already hilarious. I'm, I'm digging it. <laughs> I mean, um, this is so the third it's, story, it's, though. It's, I'm, I'm, pretty picturing, much, uh, I'm picturing a giant V. That's what I... <laughs> Yeah, sort of like that. Okay. It was um, it was it's pretty much six corridors, two two lines with three floors, and um, I don't know why I over describe that, but uh, the corridors on the uh second and third floor okay had sort of the middle cut out so you could see down mm. all the way down, and it kind of looked cool, I guess, but it didn't really because it was uh, a school. And uh, <laughs> nothing's, nothing's cool at school. Yeah, nothing's cool at school. Uh, and it just made it so nobody could really walk past each other without bumping into each other on the higher floors. Okay. Because there wasn't a lot of space. Yeah, good architecture. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, but nobody ever really fell, surprisingly, considering how rough my school was. But one time there was this kid. Wait, was who, there um, was there like a like a railing around it or whatever? There was a railing, but yeah, you could oh, easily okay. just that, sort of good. slip over it. Yeah, uh, yeah. 
Um, but one time there was this kid who sort of climbed over the railing and was hanging off the edge, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> shouting, I like cheese. Oh my god. Uh, and like, I was hearing Why? it, because I didn't know he was, I didn't know he was hanging off the edge, and I was hearing it being shouted from class, like, I like cheese, and I was like, oh wow, real funny, so <laughs> random, lol. Is your school mean this? <laughs> you think you're funny? And then, and then everyone was started rushing outside, I was like, why is everyone... Okay, and I looked outside. It was just this guy hanging off his balcony, shouting out like cheese. <laughs> I'm like, all right, no, it's funny. <laughs> that that is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, we we had like a similar thing in our school, like with the hallways, because they were basically just like spirals. So you could mm -hmm. you could stand on the other side of the railing at the top, and if you fall, you're going down two floors. Bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> I, I have this awful fear of, of heights, and especially when other people are in danger. Yeah, um, yeah. Like I, can, whenever... I can hang off something, but watching someone else do it is yeah. like, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, because like, whenever I saw anyone else going over the railing, <laughs> I would just get terrified. And... It's because you're not in control. Yeah. And <laughs> actually, go. in grade eight, uh, like at the back of the classroom, there was like this window. And our, our classroom was on the top floor, so... The window like went outside and the floor outside went all the way down to basement level so basically like my friend would always like hold stuff out the window like valuable things like his phone or okay. like my glasses which would terrify me <laughs> oh my god because yeah. it was just like you could drop it even though i know you're not going to but you can yeah. drop it and like so why I'm you can do it yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah i like i See, it's like, have you ever been on a cliff? <laughs> um, no. <laughs> I, don't, you never, I don't think I have. Actually, I have. Like, I have. I have. Like, oh, yeah. Right, like, go. just any sort of high point where there's no real railing. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And yeah, like, sure. you so, if there's nobody else around, it takes a bit of effort, but I can sort of, like, push myself to stand right at the edge. But if yeah. there's other people around, mm. I can't do it. Even if yeah. I trust them with my life, I don't trust them with my life at that point. <laughs> yeah, you, you never <laughs> yeah. know, man. Yeah, no, I get you. Yeah, yeah it terrifies me that they're just going to push me. Yeah. <laughs> Another random elementary school story. It's not a long one, but just like... I thought of it when Shady mentioned uh, the kid who ran down a slope and <laughs> ran into the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just, just the part about running down a slope. Uh, there was this, there was this little, like, this grass slope, right? And at the bottom, there was, like, a, a very small, uh, I guess, basketball court type thing. So there was concrete. Uh, and oh, one day, God. it was the very first day back to school in, like, some grade. I think it was, like, grade four or something. And I, I don't know why I wanted to run down the slope. <laughs> oh, but Christian, I, you were the kid. I I ran down the slope at full speed and uh, fell on my face at the bottom. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> on the concrete, and uh, wow. The the funniest thing about it that I remember is like my entire face was like all scratched up with like <laughs> bruises and scrapes everywhere, and because you know everyone's dumb at that age, there would be people <laughs> who walked up to me and be like, "Hey, I don't know if you know, but like you're bleeding." <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like of course i know it's so painful and it's been on my face for a full week oh no <laughs> dude like, when i was in uh like yeah i want to say five okay. um we were doing one of those stupid kid games where you all just sort of <laughs> chase each other and sort of you think you're gonna fight but you don't yeah. ever really because <laughs> yeah. because you're not you're not stupid gotcha. um <laughs> but uh it was so we we're all running at each other trying to take each other down although not really because obviously we didn't want to hurt each other but i have this bright idea of i have a good technique just charge at people oh my God. and don't stop <laughs> ever oh, <no. laughs> don't stop ever and so i did it and I ran straight into someone, and we collided faces. Okay, so this interesting uh, <laughs> detail. This was a girl, okay. and we collided. <laughs> this wasn't even intentional, and like we were kids, so it's not exactly 
cool. But it's it's like we collided <laughs> lips on lips. <laughs> so, that is some that is like that's some actual anime shit right there. Oh my god, yeah. that is good. Uh, but I have a I have a scar on my face, like right right here above my lip, because when we collided. My face just got smashed. Hers was fine. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> but mine got wow. torn. Like, right here, I, I broke a ligament inside my mouth. <laughs> and I didn't I didn't know. I wasn't feeling this pain. That is like, hardcore. Yeah. All, all, the, all the teachers were freaking out. Like, oh, my God, you're injured. T- come inside. I was like, yeah, it kind of hurts. Whatever. They gave me wet paper towel and put it on my face where I felt the pain, <laughs> which was, like, nowhere near where I was bleeding. Right. Because I, I didn't even know I was bleeding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I put this towel on like the left side of my face where it was kind of like bruise painful. And they were all like, no, move it over here. I was like, why? It doesn't hurt over here. And nobody was telling me. And then eventually <laughs> I looked at this paper towel after they'd put it where it was bleeding. I was like, oh, I'm bleeding a bit. Okay, I'll keep it here, I guess. And then next thing I know, my mom's coming to pick me up. <laughs> and she sees it and she's like, oh, yeah, we're going to have to go to... We're gonna have to go to ER. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that one's not so good there, Reese. <laughs> so I'm in the car, like, all right, we're going to ER. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. To get there, I may have to glue my face back together. Oh my god, <laughs> dude, how hard was this fucking collision? <laughs> apparently, apparently, so the scar I had, the wound, it very nearly went all the way through to the other, like, into. T- so it was inside my mouth. You know I thought I mean? you were gonna so say yeah, the yeah. I I thought you were gonna say to the other side of your face. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say like that. That is hardcore. <laughs> Apparently, it nearly went all the way through. And if it had, I'd have needed plastic surgery. But luckily, oh, wow. we could just glue it back together. Holy I was shit. like, nobody told me this. I was just sat in the car waiting in ER. Like, uh, what's going on? <laughs> yeah. Talk about most <laughs> top ten most violent kisses in anime. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I I always feel good. bad being in the ER when I when I feel like when I when I don't feel like I necessarily have to be there, but I'm like in a lot of pain or whatever. And it's yeah. just like meanwhile, there's like dying people around me, and it's just yeah. like, oh my god, man, yeah. why am I here saying that I have an emergency? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's a huge issue for countries like ours that have. Uh, government funded healthcare. Yeah, yeah. I was right about to mention. <laughs> yeah, Canada. Yeah, yeah. Man. Grateful for it, but don't waste it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, I think another time I really injured myself. Uh, I went mountain biking, and I went through the the route once. And I was like, yeah, this is fun. I can do it properly this time. I went through it again real fast. <laughs> and I went, over, I went over this bump downhill and I just fell straight off my bike. But I fell in such a way. Okay. And I have no idea how this happened. It seems like a quirk of physics that could never happen again. Okay. I fell off my bike. My helmet strap got caught in the handlebars of the bike. <laughs> and somehow oh. the pedal bike okay. didn't fall. Right. It just kept going and pulled me with it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Until it hit a tree. <laughs> are you serious? Do you do you realize that you were a living piece of abstract art, Reese? <laughs> holy, holy like, shit! That is good. That so is really good. I was I was just like bumping along the ground, my back scraping along it until I hit this tree, and it was the first time in my life where I feel like there's a turning point in your life, okay. like when you're a kid. <laughs> And you start reacting to pain with tears and screaming, and there's a point where you start reacting to actual pain with, ah, ah. <laughs> I, I totally get that, dude. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, yeah. Like you can't breathe properly, and you're just making a very tiny amount of sound. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's oh, when you really know you're growing up. When you when you know you're growing up. Yeah. <laughs> I, oh I can't think of that many, like, big injuries I've had. I've never broken a bone in my life, but, like... Oh, really? No, me neither. My oh, parents, wow, you guys... Good. <laughs> my, yeah. my parents told me about this one time that, obviously, I don't remember. I think I was two. And, mm-hmm. like, I think we were, like, in a parking lot or something, from what they said. And they were doing that thing where my dad was on one side and my mom was on the other, and they were lifting me up by my arms. 
Oh, God. And apparently, That's dangerous. Apparently, my arms yeah. were like ripped out of the socket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know why this is funny. <laughs> it is funny. <laughs> Poor Christian. Back and, it, I, I mean, I don't remember it at all, but like. Oh, my God. Yeah, apparently my arms were like pretty much detached. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Lanky Kong it, origin story. I yeah, remember right? those. <laughs> Actually, well, that's the thing. I'm, I'm that. known for being, like, the lankiest out of, like, all of my friends. You've so been stretched. That might be the cause. Yeah. <laughs> yeah wow. Dude. Yeah. That's, Jeez. But it was a huge thing in the news about that, I remember, when I was a kid, about, like... Swinging your kids? People advising parents not to do that, because it can dislocate their arms. <laughs> <laughs> well, <Yeah. fun. laughs> now you know the source. It was Christian. Yeah. <laughs> Christian. What be Oh. <laughs> what have you done to the world? <laughs> you saved a lot of arms, dude. <laughs> I punched my mic. I apologize, everybody. <laughs> it's okay. I, I'm I'm still like doing things with my mic here. I hope, I hope the sound. <laughs> are you still holding it up, dude? Like honestly, I I genuinely hope that like everything sounds okay right now because I'm like moving yeah, around great. slightly. Everything sounds perfect. I uh, I fantastic. imagine your. Do you guys have lollipop ladies? I'm sorry. What? No, <laughs> you know lollipop uh, so ladies at, at at crossings near schools and stuff. Okay. Uh, over here, we'll sometimes have uh, like during like rush hour or like school closing times and stuff. Yeah, <clears throat> they'll have people like I guess crossing guards. So are they? Quick question. They hold I, a, it's a small theory. I don't mean to interrupt, but by lollipop, are you talking about a stop sign or no? Yeah, it's pretty much <laughs> a stop sign. <laughs> yes. Okay, yeah. <laughs> we call them lollipop ladies. I That's, guess lollipop that, that is adorable. Now. No, I love that. I'm going to start doing that. Yeah. I love it. I don't know. I, I'm, just, I'm really I'm just confused. I accepted right? that that's what they're called. And <laughs> yeah, it's a stupid name. I mean, it's a lovely I'm, name. It's, it's not stupid. That's I'm endearing. So, I like that. Yeah. I'm so confused right now. Like, well, when, you first said lolli- when you first said lollipop lady, I thought of like, a lady who like sells lollipops. Oh, I thought he was talking about like like models, you know, like suicide girls. So those <laughs> lollipop ladies. <Yes. laughs> Man, I'm I'm subscribed to lollipop ladies. <laughs> I I Hell imagine yeah. that would be like a, a pinup series, you know. I I'm thinking pinup too. That's exactly what I thought actually. Yeah. You guys want to start anyway? A I think <laughs> yes. I, I I'm imagining you holding your mic up. With like a pop filter on it, and it looks like you're a lollipop lady. That's actually what's. Ha- I'm actually holding the pop filter. You're right. There is a pop filter here that I'm holding as well. Nice, uh, but it's all good. It's all do good. You, Shady, do you help me cross the road. Do you have any fun injury stories? I mean, I mean there are, are, are just. Once. I mean, I I I broke my femur and it almost came out my leg. Is that? Oh, that that's pretty bad, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was, I was, I was playing around in the winter, and like I fell down this like icy hill, but then someone else fell, and then he landed on my leg on like bumpy ice, and like oh. it, it got, yeah, and like the the worst part is it was fractured at first, but then everyone's like, ah, oh, it's just a bruise, don't worry about it. And I'm like, oh, oh. I, I'm like, I'm yeah. like, I'm like, oh, oh, okay, okay, I'll try <laughs> to get up, you know, like, <laughs> and then and then it breaks, so. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, that that yeah. sucked. I mean, it is the biggest and hardest bone to break in your body, so I find it oh, wow. kind of um, sad and amazing at the same time. I'm like, you know what? That's kind of that's that's cool. I felt one of the yeah. worst pains. So like, I've become desensitized yeah. since then. So like, I I kind of don't mind that. <laughs> I think it's crazy how much trauma the, your body can go through. Yeah, it's insane. Like, like an adrenaline is, is 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 crazy when something crazy is happening. Like you don't even know you're yeah. hurt. Kind of like what. You had, I guess, with yeah. your lip. <laughs> <laughs> People yeah, I, can I, like take minor injuries and die, <laughs> and in in other cases, they can literally be ripped open and survive. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I guess it, like it depends on like I guess willpower and yeah other things. I don't know. <laughs> I guess, <laughs> but like yeah, I mean, I, I've had a few weird things. I've had that. I've stepped on. Uh, a trash bag that had broken microwave glass in it, so you oh, probably know where that cool. went. Yeah, I, I, I've had oh, weird stuff. I accidentally, like, when I was three, my mom, I, there was, like, a hair curling iron. I didn't know what it was, and before she said, don't touch it, I touched it. So I have, like, a burn mark on my wrist and everything, too. So I, I have a few funny injuries here and there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, actually. Nice. What? Yeah, there was a there was a time where <clears throat> my my dad was, like, pulling into our driveway on his on his motorcycle oh my god did he hit you like, 
No, no, no. <laughs> oh, okay, because that because no, I mean, I, like that. Honestly, when you said you were in a parking lot with your parents in the other story, I thought someone was gonna hit you with a car. Like, no offense. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it totally wasn't a parking lot, and that's just how I first imagined the story. So that's how I've been imagining it since then. <laughs> no problem. Um, but anyway, my my dad pulled in, and I I went outside because I wanted to talk to him about something, and I was wearing shorts, and yeah. so like I. I just, like, subconsciously pressed my leg up to, like, the exhaust pipe of his motorcycle. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no, Chris. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, that was bad. I, I think I might, I think the scar might still be visible. I don't know. That's a, it was that's a hot for, pipe. Like, a few years. But... Yeah, I would imagine. That's insane. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. That sounds exhausting. Fun time. Uh, All right, I'm done with puns, I swear. <laughs> what a what a podcast we've had so yeah far. right <laughs> it's it's pretty much done do we do we want to move on to featured pieces yeah sure. we can yeah. yeah sure cool i'm down for whatever i'm i'm along for the ride just take nice. me take me where you must you want to blindfold yeah. me put me in a dark room i will do it for this podcast just for this podcast i mean are you willing to save that because I've got an idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm on. Let's do it. How to write a song blindfolded in five minutes or less. In the dark. <laughs> in someone else's dark room. Yeah. Yeah. Why good. does it need to be a dark room if you're blindfolded? Because <laughs> it has to be yeah. advanced. It has to be advanced I, darkness. Yeah, I was going to say that exact thing where I was just like, how to write a song blindfolded. And then one of you was like, oh, but but in the dark. Blindfolded <laughs> in the dark. That's going to be right. the title. <laughs> Like what? What's <laughs> oh the wow! Blindfolded in my dark is such a good song name. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right, Let's just all a make a song with that podcast. name. By yes. the way, Shady Shady is easily the most famous person we've had on this podcast. So, uh, oh, wow. we, we hope you bring in the views. <laughs> I will. I will do my best. Give to me say, them hey, views. Was... Monetize this one video, <laughs> Christian. <laughs> do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah, this is probably our first podcast that won't have ads taken off. <laughs> oh, dang. Wait, no, your other ones had ads taken off of it? No. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> we're just like, okay. we made them pretty much unmonetizable if we were going to monetize them. <laughs> gotcha. All right. I see. All right. Uh, Featured Christian. pieces. <clears throat> What's yours? All right. Um, I chose a video from our friend Dylan. Hey. Uh, he oh, put that Shake one. Yeah. He, he put out his first, uh, his first ever... Uh, I can, not his first cover with vocals because he's done he's done a few, but mm -hmm. his his first cover first coveler where <laughs> he did all of the vocals himself, uh, and it he, was really he did a, a quote unquote real song. He he's done a song by the same band in the past. Oh but really? It, it yeah. There was a female singer who was the main vocalist. <gasps> oh, I remember right now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's super good and it looks like Jonathan Young. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're if you like black backgrounds and good vocals, check out if you like Sha Mayday Parade. Yeah, Shake Elite's <laughs> cover of Jersey by Mayday Parade. Link to that will be in the description. It's actually really nice, guys. It's Would really definitely good. recommend. So I was good. I was pleasantly surprised. Um, I was blown away. Yeah, yeah, that was the first time I actually heard him vocally, and I mean it's always nice to see someone in the VGM community who can also sing. So mm -hmm. yeah. it's nice. It's nice. Yeah. Dylan yeah. has very little like way less subs and views than i i think he so he's for. worth less as a person is <laughs> 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 wow um but yeah that that video has like less than 100 views on youtube and like over wow. 700 on facebook <laughs> oh yeah because he hey, re-uploaded the video on facebook i'm not not too he's sure got he, he needs those white captions and like the emojis and stuff and it's gonna yeah. have like a million views <laughs> who did this <laughs> yeah who who did this <laughs> oh my god i wonder who did this whoever it was who must have been or, or, or just put good, like right? like lit and just put a bunch of flames and stuff yeah okay, yes yeah. <laughs> um all right shady you want to give your feature yeah, piece sure i feel like i'm in school again but like in a good way like this is fun like fun show and tell. tell yeah it's like show and tell it's like what do you have for the class uh so <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> I have this uh, song. We should rename the concept to show and tell. <laughs> Continue. We should. We should. Or we song should. and tell. Ooh. No, but it's not always a song, is it? Yeah. Um. Yeah. Oh, so it's it's a song called "Wait" by the Deer Hunter. The Deer Hunter. They basically 
uh, their rock mixed with like uh, orchestra and swing and all these other things. They just try to go for like a really theatrical kind of vibe in their songs, and they're always telling a story. Ooh, it's and, really uh, cool. Kind of thing. It's really cool. They're like one of my favorite bands now. And the song, which is actually my favorite song uh, currently, uh, it's called Wait. And um, it's it's not like really like a super deep song or anything, but the lyrics themselves are pretty cool because it's like everyone has that moment where they have like a bit of an existential crisis and they kind of think about like their own mortality. And it's like, all right, like, like, am I just like part of the earth or like what happens after I die? Yeah. And if there is a heaven, <laughs> then is it like eternity? And if it is eternity, like that... Doesn't also like that doesn't sound that great either, right? And that's that, that's what I the whole song those, is about. Yeah, I love those moments. Yeah, exactly. And that whole <laughs> song is basically just <laughs> that, and it's it's really well done. Um, it has like a nice grungy kind of feel, and I like grungy. I I, I like I call them garbage riffs, even though they're really good. <laughs> it just it just it just has like this sloppy ish kind of feel to it, but it's really cool. And hey, um, man, that's, that's kind of what... garbage riff there. <laughs> yeah, that's what I say. I I, I like sounds me, great. It's just such garbage <laughs> literally i i have like some songs i wrote and i call them trash punk because it's literally shit like that yeah but like it, it, no it's yeah exactly you know it, it's really nice though like the second chorus and just everything it, it's all it's all good and nice. i think that's all i have to say on that check it out yeah. i will yeah. i love i love um is it anything like uh native construct it sounded a lot like Native Construct, actually. That was the first thing I thought of when I listened. Okay, because oh, I go. love that kind of thing. I actually never heard that band, so I guess I should check them out. Yeah, really check, good. <laughs> check out their one album that I forget the name of. It's the only one I've heard. Mute City? <laughs> no, Mute City's... That's, 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 that's from F-Zero, dude. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's called Quiet City, and it's got a track called Mute on it. <laughs> All right, that's not, right, that's not the one I was thinking of. But anything from Native Construct, they're really cool. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, my. What do you have for the class, Reese? Show and tell. <laughs> um, it's a band <laughs> called The Rocking Horse Club. The Rocking Horse uh, Club. I found this band because Bryn Hell Six Bells actually did a cover of Another Winter from Scott Pilgrim with the bassist from this band. Oh. Oh what? Oh, really? that's her. Yeah. Oh yeah. wow, that's Shit, really that's... cool. I had I had no I idea didn't... that she was in a band. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. A while that's ago, the I found coolest thing. I found this band and I realized it was her. All right, and uh, you you realized it, not Bryn. Yeah, well, that's, no, okay. So I found it by like following links from her YouTube to her Twitter to her yeah, Facebook yeah, yeah. to this. Whoa. Um, yeah, I stalked her, and <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I found her band. She's a really good bassist. Really it's, yeah, and it's a really good band. They've got an EP out called mm -hmm. uh, We've Been the Rocking Horse Club, I think. Oh, okay. we have a Rocking Horse Club. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's got some really good tunes on it. Um, the That's sort of, really cool. Sort of punky... Uh, it's definitely punk. It's, pu <laughs> it's mostly <laughs> punk. Um, I want to say there's elements of other genres in there, but not quite maybe enough to put it next to the title you know yeah. um it's uh there's they've got but the <laughs> big hitting song is like one of those sort of two song medley type songs okay you know oh, like yeah, medley yeah. but there's only two songs in it yeah um the second song is in if i remember right five four which is nice. cool five five four is a good reminds time me of Bryn. <laughs> <laughs> uh so I, I thought that was cool to have like uh, quite a punky song in five four, and uh, yeah, I like the song headphones from the their album. Nice. Cool. I right. actually wasn't expecting uh like uh, with a name like that. I actually wasn't expecting them to be punk. I thought it was be more, yeah. more like an indie kind of thing, but that's interesting. Yeah, like, yeah, uh, yeah. But yeah, they are kind of indie. In, oh yeah, it's like indie-ish kind of punk kind of. It's like indie punk type yeah. thing. It's, that's a cool. Um, that's a cool band British. name for that kind of style. I dig that. Yeah, yeah. I I it's still quite, think it's. Sorry, it's kind can, of Sex you... Pistols because of how British we are. Gotcha. <laughs> All right. I like me some Sex Pistols. Yeah, man. I'm I'm just still really surprised that it it's that bassist. Yeah. <laughs> from Bryn's <laughs> cover of Another Winner. Yeah. If you watch the video, you'll you'll see her. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, Vicky that was show and tell. Something cooks and. <laughs> um. Yeah. Quick quick announcement I'd like to make. Uh, yeah. By the time this podcast uh, goes up, my okay. my original album will be released. It will be oh, available oh, for purchase. Oh, damn. That is damn. <laughs> oh, shit. Get hype. It, it, 
Yeah. Buy it it'll now. Be, it'll be on Bandcamp, iTunes, uh, Spotify, everywhere. Please buy it on Bandcamp. <laughs> yeah, Bandcamp is the best <laughs> bet. If you, if you can't, that's okay. Uh, you get a bonus track on Bandcamp. You also get I, the option oh. of... You also get an option incentive. of downloading any file format that you want. I think that's a... a wow. Um, I don't know. Uh, it's cool. There will also be a playthrough for one of the songs on my channel by then. Nice. Uh, so, yeah. That's all coming out. Check it by, out. By time this video goes up, I will have bought that album. Oh, me and too. And you should all, too. Thank you. That's You're, you're welcome. <laughs> Wait, how much is it going to be? It's going to be $10. Standard all right. See, my price. budget was like fifty, and I was like, "Ooh, I don't want to promise <laughs> it's anything." It's like twenty like bucks. Like, oh, look at Mister uh, Big Shot over here. <laughs> That's all good. My, That's my good, album man. with twelve songs is gonna be twenty dollars. Hell yeah! <laughs> but yeah, Shady's also Pretty working good, on man. an album. I think I am. I am. But I don't. I don't have like a solid date yet. But I got all my little how-to songs are going to be on there and tabs are going to be included, but only if you get it from Bandcamp. So like Christian Ooh, said, just priority on Bandcamp. That, that, the fact that you're including incentives. tabs is a huge is a huge deal for a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's where the idea came from. <laughs> yeah. Especially because I see like a lot of comments asking for tabs on <laughs> your how-to. <laughs> tabs, tabs, please. Excuse me, you got tabs. Can I have tabs? Got tabs, anybody. Hi, how did you learn this? Have you got tabs? I, 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 I think you, I got a comment the other day where... the tabs you used? <laughs> there was like a comment the other day where dude, some dude was just like, dude, I will suck dick for tabs. I'm like, okay. Uh, I can't turn down that deal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, sure, here's one free tab. <laughs> it's just like, it's just like one note and it's like the open low A <laughs> string. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Poor guy. Here's your one tab. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy it. <laughs> oh, uh, you guys are fun. I like talking to you guys. You fact, I, it's great. This whole, to you. this whole podcast is pretty fun. I I enjoy this. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thanks, man. Thanks for being on. Yeah, no yeah. problem. I'm we've had trouble. We've had trouble scheduling this recording because we've all had <laughs> conflicting. Sc- Stuff. Yeah. We're, we're all it's a bunch meant of busy to be boys. on the last like three episodes, right? It's, <laughs> it's no big deal. It helps Reese and I realize that we need to do more episodes by ourselves. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fine. I mean, like, if anything, too, um, mock up some like topic scripts to like have topics to talk about and all that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know? uh, something we should but take into consideration is not actually n- preparing for. Not a complaint, <laughs> by the way. I, I am, I am very, I always enjoy a little bit of improv. So this is a. Uh, this is fun. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we didn't plan any of this. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Um, I'm looking forward to editing this one. Yeah. Because I won't have to do anything unlike <laughs> yeah. last episode. <laughs> what would you have to do True. last time? Oh, we had a lot of Skype issues, so there's a lot uh, of uh, cutting in and out. I got to fix. I've got notes right here with timestamps where I got to. <laughs> oh, jeez. Got editing notes and everything. This is an ambitious yep. podcast, boys. Everyone yeah, it's just because right it's now. just because Reese doesn't want to sit through and listen to the episode. Yeah, it's, it's I've also enough. got a. He already does big, it while he's recording. <laughs> in big letters, I've got sync. sync. I like that. <laughs> yeah. We forgot to sync. <laughs> got to. We still yeah. forgot to sync on the last episode, even though I wrote in big letters. Sink. Oh dear lord. <laughs> <laughs> and it's funny because like I think Reese said it in the middle of the episode, like, we forgot to sink. And then right after we hit stop record, he was like, We forgot to sink. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Literally after I pressed the space bar, I was like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, okay. that's that's it for the episode. Yeah, uh, we should wrap it up so Shady can put down his mic. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. This- I'm totally, I'm totally fine over here, you know. <laughs> Chris is dying. <laughs> nah, honestly, it was a lot of fun. It was totally worth it. Right. Yeah, despite the whole drop, it was good. It was a literal mic drop. I swear, I was talking about something cool. It's like, yeah, yeah, I'm composing for a video game. Boom, boom, it, it, worked. it worked. It was an actual mic drop. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right. All right. Nice white with a mic. We'll see you next time on the one and only podcast on the internet. So live with lots. <laughs> Bye. See ya. Bye.